In this question, we're asked to find all values of x satisfying the inequality 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 1. So to remove the modulus sign, what we're going to do is we are going to consider 3x minus 5 in relation to plus and minus 1. First of all, 3x minus 5, considering that less than or equal to 1. Or we're going to consider 3x minus 5 greater than or equal to minus 1. And remember, because we're doing a negative solution, we have to reverse the inequality. So what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to add 5 to both sides. I'm going to do this for our first equality, so I get 3x less than or equal to 6, and then I'm going to divide by 3. So I get x is less than or equal to 2. I can do exactly the same operations with the second inequality. So adding 5 to both sides, I get 3x is greater than or equal to minus, uh, sorry, is greater than or equal to minus 1 plus 5 is going to be 4. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, so I get x is greater than or equal to 4 over 3. So this leaves me with the inequality that x is greater than or equal to 4 thirds and it's a bounded inequality and it's less than or equal to 2. Okay, so that was part A. Part B says use the answer in part A to find values of y satisfying the inequality of modulus of 3 over y minus 5 less than or equal to 1. Okay, so if we consider this as 3 times 1 over y minus 5 less than or equal to 1, then what we have here is that x is in fact equal to 1 over y. So this leads us to say 4 thirds is less than or equal to 1 over y, which is less than or equal to 2. If I take the reciprocal of both sides, that means that we're going to get 3 quarters. Because I've taken the reciprocal, I'm going to reverse the inequalities. It's greater than or equal to y. And this is then going to be reversing the inequality. is going to be greater than or equal to the reciprocal of 2, which is a half. And if you just check, that makes sense. Yes, y can actually lie in between 3 quarters and a half. OK, well, let's have a look and see how the marks were awarded in this question. First of all, if you've tried to solve either of these inequalities, you get a method mark. If you've then got the both x is less than or equal to 2 and x is greater than or equal to 4 thirds, you get an answer mark. And if you've got the range of values written as a bounded inequality, you then get a further answer mark. For part b, if you've made the statement that 1 over y lies between 4 thirds and 2, you get a method mark. And if you've taken a reciprocal and correctly reversed the inequalities so that you get another bounded range for y, you get an answer mark. Okay, well, I hope my solution made sense and that you were able to follow how to mark it.